before we begin tonight's show, got to give our uh, condolences to the one, the only, the legend, Terry Funk. We're going to start off talking about him on tonight's show. Um, absolute one of the best in the world, uh, in the world of pro wrestling. Got to show love to our guy, Terry Funk. Um, I got a lot to say. I'll say I'll save it for a second um, once we finally get into the actual show. Um, a little bit lost for words when it comes to talking about Terry Funk here. Uh, but he did pass away today. I saw a lot of nice tributes, a lot of nice discussions about Terry Funk. So uh, much respect to everybody who has done that. Um, like I said, more to come here momentarily. Uh, we're going to get into the intro, and then we will talk a little bit more about Terry Funk. We'll get into some Dynamite. We're going to talk Fight Forever, and we're going to do a little all-in, all-out, and we're going to uh, get this thing right. Let's go. Everything pro wrestling, they can never be you. Listen to the podcast here for the people. The best show that's here, so listen in. Let the knowledge begin. The opinion and the lesson. Yes. Everyday pro wrestling, they can never be you. Terry Funk, one of the best, man, best. The man had to put someone over one time and said, Vince, I have to go take care of my sick horse. <laughs> Terry Funk, legend. Uh, Terry. When we were, uh, I, I showed you the CM Punk thing, right? Yeah. Were you here? Yeah, come on. CM Punk and him in Ring of Honor. Is that all you got? Hits him in the back. Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need no stinking music. Terry Funk is a legend, bro. For yeah. all the funniest reasons. The dumpster match at WrestleMania 14 with Mick Foley. Yeah, that, that was a great match. Bro. It was. was Chainsaw Charlie oh, had him yeah. come out. Man, how dare someone say someone's not going to remember who Terry Funk is. Man, whoever said that, bro, unbelievable. I'm going to be respectful right now. I, I was really about to cuss somebody out. Terry Funk is that dude, the running ECW. Yeah. Terry Funk, dude, is a legend. A he, legend. He's that guy. He's that guy. He's that dude. I love Terry Funk, man. He always just made wrestling fun. Dude, do a moonsault at how old was he? 48, 50? I, I don't care. Should not be doing moonsaults out here in these streets, man. No, not at all. <sighs> Terry Funk is the man, dude. Um, so many great memories of him. Uh, I think of even the feud with Ric Flair from like 89, I believe it was. Yeah. Where Terry Funk retired for like the umpteenth time. Terry Funk always retired. Then he was right back at it. Ric Flair, I just want one last match. <laughs> uh, I loved him at Cactus Jack. Just. Oh, teaching people the business. And I know you guys are in the chat. I'm about to shout all of you guys out. Trust me. But dang it, man. Terry Funk, dude. So good. I want to read some of your comments. If you've got thoughts on Terry Funk, please put them in the chat. Um, Derek, memories of Terry Funk from what you got to see of him. Ah, bro. You know, ECW days, that still the greatest match between him was with him and Mick Foley, bro. Like that, that, that was that was outrageous. Yeah, those those crazy Japanese like <laughs> hardcore matches on better nails. Like, come on, bro. Terry Funk is something else, but he always knew how to get the bag. And you know, it's crazy he could legitimately wrestle. He really could hit you with that spinning toe hole. Yo, <laughs> he he just got it in, man. Um, so good, classic. So good. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Reminded me of our CD when you said that. That's the, why I said that. <laughs> yo, love it, man. The um, the greatness, the greatness. Uh, I see a lot of people putting up the RIPs. Much appreciated, man. Uh, thank you guys so much for that. Um, Rob said, genuinely thought this man would live for forever. If you ever hear that on any of the Botchamania stuff, that's Terry Funk. Forever, forever. Fight Forever might not exist if it wasn't for Terry Funk. You yeah. never know. It Really good stuff, man. Or at least it wouldn't have that name. Right. Hubbard. Sean Hubbard of Hubbard Wrestling Weekly Clash of the Podcast Live every Monday at 6.05 Eastern Standard Time. This Monday, episode 52. We're going to probably be talking some all-in. Maybe even incorporate some other little sprinkles in there. 
Uh, make sure you guys check it out. He says, salute to Terry Funk. Rest easy, legend. Blessings to Conrad, Derek, and chat. Three AEW All In is looking real mid right now. Biggest show ever. Not in my book. Hope I'm wrong. Well, I mean, if you feel that way going in, I'm right. probably gonna change your mind. Right. My guy hopes. I I don't I don't fully agree with the sentiment that uh it's not it's not gonna be a good show. I think it's gonna deliver still. Let's see what they do. Let's see what they do. It will, it will. Um let's see here. We got a lot of people deathmatch fully funk. I yes. love it. Uh Terry Funk's retirement suit. Yeah, that's that's legendary up there with Mark Henry's, right? Um look at it, man. Clash of the Champions, Troy New York, Flair versus Funk. I quit match. Amazing. The Terry Funk pile driver, they just grab your tights, him and Cactus, give you a wedgie and just drop you on your dome. Uh, I remember Terry Funk and uh, Muda t- teaming up, too, they had for a little bit there with uh, Gary Hart. Good stuff. If you've never went back and go check out some of that old WCW footage, please. I just finished the 99. I don't want to go back. I- I'm sorry. It was just... It was, and that's not even worse. The worst is 2000. We didn't even get into that stuff yet. Yes, uh, Japanese deathmatch. Bang, bang. What's good, Cat? Appreciate you being in here, man. Remember Terry Funk, Stone Cold, uh, faced off on Sat- Shotgun Saturday night? <laughs> Terry Funk at one night stand. Yes, dude. Oh, my goodness. Fighting um, Edge and the homies. Yeah. Yikes. Yikes. Uh, it was Terry Funk and was a dreamer versus so. uh, Edge and uh, Foley. Yes. When Foley was a heel. Look at this. XPW legend. Funk versus Hogan was a low key banger. Yeah. Yeah. Dusty. Dusty Rose. Oh. Dusty sucks eggs. That's where, if you ever see someone wear this shirt, Terry Funk. Bro, I I, I think I just saw something on uh, Instagram where it, <laughs> where it said, I've been waiting on you, you and your egg sucking self, <laughs> or something like that, bro. What? Funk and Foley were dope in the SVR uh, new SMA days, too. Yes. Dusty sucks eggs. Oh, man. I was just watching. Yo, I know Bruce Pritchard did the voiceover and not Dustin looking back at it now, but where he Dustin Rose was Dusty, they did that fake promo. Tickle the twine. My son Dustin comes from my loins. And then he was like, I faced them all. The Nature Boy, Ric Flair, Terra Funk. Well, not Terra Funk because he whooped my ass. <laughs> I was just like, yo, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> why do they do shit like that, bro? So funny. Yeah. <laughs> so funny, dude. Um, I, I, I would love to see Terry Funk get some more in. Um, I'm going to go through uh, some of the stuff on here tonight, man. I'm going to try and – if anybody who I missed, I'm going to try and get you guys in here. I'm going to start at the top because Terrell was the first one in here. Big shout out to Terrell317. Everything Pro Wrestling. This went from an unexpected swerve of LAX joining BCC to Phoenix possibly being seriously hurt. And my and prayers to Ray Phoenix. Derek and Conrad, it's been a while since I've been here. All good, bro. All good. I go back to work at Wall Street next month. I'll be attending Mercy University next month. Mercy College officially as of yesterday. Nice, nice. Nice. I'm going to use some stock inside. Um, Derek, I will give up his address to any feds who need it because he just (laughs) said that. I, I, It wasn't me. It wasn't me. That's what Shaggy said. (laughs) <laughs> JJ, Tony said, go all out. I don't know if this is Jocelyn or not, but if it is, Jocelyn, welcome. If it's not, Jocelyn, if you're listening, welcome. And if it's not, whoever this JJ is, welcome. Uh, Pro Wrestler Shoot said, well, well. Look at E yelling, we're late. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Boo this man. <laughs> how how could you say something like that to us? Don't do us like that, man. Don't do us like that. Now, now I got to do it. Well, letting you know it's got to go down. He is late. We dock and pay. How you gonna dock pay when AEW extended the show? They extend the show, I extend my start time. Right. That's just how this works. All right, don't come in here with that YouTube garbage. I don't know what Tony's extended the show. Tony already messes me up on graphics every week. You got to show me love, people. All right, Renegade L2K, let's get this out the way. Remove Fozzie. Oh. Nah, it is jive rough. Uh, Matt Lopez says, good evening, everybody. What's good, Matt? I love the RIPs. RIP to the legend. 
Terry Funk the Funker. I used to love that Funk You shirt. Oh, if anybody yeah. ever wants to, and please don't get me in trouble, YouTube, for that. But that's what the shirt was called. The Funk You. If I could find a way to get my hands on one, I might have to grab me that joint one oh, time. Yeah, absolutely, bro. Ten Bell Salute. Yes. Uh, I didn't have enough time to prepare the graphic to do that. Uh, I had to do some running around after uh, work today. Uh, R.I.P. Terry Funk. Hardcore Funk. Yes. WCW. So good. So good, man. Uh, <laughs> you are a fool, E. Uh, R.I.P. Ace said to Terry Funk, Ace, what's good, man? Welcome, welcome. Uh, Terry Funk and Ric Flair, those matches were insane. Great American Bash 89 is one of my favorites. I want to see Terry Funk versus Queen Elizabeth. Betty White is special guest ref. R.I.P. Oh. Funk. Um, <laughs> e said, I'm not booked. <laughs> Look at you guys. Look at you guys. Jesse keeps telling me to check out this show. I might have to go back and check that out. I'm trying not to watch any more of that 1999 stuff now. You up here trying to get me. Oh, you know. Uh, your wifey's a whore, Foley. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on. Mick Foley seemed like he was taking it kind of hard. He put up a good picture earlier. I tried to have more pictures in here. I want you guys to know I have over like 100 images right now in my stream yard. You got to give it up to me, man. I be doing my homework, man. Funky 2K24, I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, P. Terry Funk, am I the only one who ran into Brody Lee in AEW story mode, but he's not a playable character? He is. You have to play with the right person. I would recommend using someone like maybe a Sammy Guevara. Spanish God. And play through it. You'll see. Terry Funk throwing a chicken at Dustin Rhodes. Yes. Yes. That hardcore division is crazy. Terry Funk. Oh, yes. The selling in the barbed wire. Terry oh, Sabu man. and Terry Funk barbed wire match. Yeah. Bugging. Bugging. If you've never seen it, one of the most disgusting injuries you'll see in pro wrestling with Sabu. You'll know why he's all tore up. Uh, you don't get to say for the fans, by the fans when you're late in my Jay Lethal voice. Well, this is my show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shout out to Sick who has joined us in the chat. Well. Six said, when we going to have that Fight Forever match? Listen, me and Derek have been having a little bit of an argument over something he wants to do. He's trying to use Malachi. I think he should be off limits. Why, bro? Them kicks are lethal, bro. I did a road to the elite, bro. I was dominating with him. As soon as you can't reverse, it's over. Is, and he got a finisher you don't got to grab? Nah, 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 player. We're going we gonna to need a patch before he picks him. Uh-uh. All right, so, so who, who, who should I go with? John Silver. Hell no, bro. <laughs> Johnny Hungy? Yeah. <laughs> nah, bro. Yeah, <laughs> Johnny Hungy. Uh, come on, E. You just had to make him play it. R.I.P. the King of Hard Course. Um, yeah, we'll get back to that. Uh, that Fight Forever match. And Derek's got to show up when he says he is. Cactus, you know they start in Black Folk time. Come on now. <laughs> come on now. We were ready. We were ready. Tony, Tony went over. We were up here in like two minutes. We didn't right. even we didn't even get to no bathroom breaks or nothing. We were ready to go. Cut us a break. Stream at 6 a.m. for Stadium Stampede. Yo, that's all you, bro. I ain't waking up for no Stadium Stampede. I might stream it tomorrow night. Uh, We'll see. That main event made it run over. See? Not again, Conrad. I had to. One time for sick, man. He's a big, uh, big show fan. Good evening, EPW. Original Biggie, what's good? Terry Funk, Norman Smiley. Yeah. Oh, yeah screaming, screaming Norman. Terry yeah. Funk was beating that ass. Um, listen, guys, we usually always started off like this, but we had to give it up for Terry Funk. Welcome to Everything Pro Wrestling. Everything Pro Wrestling is a show by the fans, for the fans. I'm your host, Conrad Cushman, joined tonight by the man in blue. What are you going to do? It is the one, the only, the man they call Derek. Yo! What up? We're going to be talking a little A-Dub. A-Dub, man. Uh, the show is dedicated to the Funker, Terry Funk, tonight. Um, if you guys want to help us out, do us a favor. Hit the like, comment. Leave us a five-star review if you're listening on the audio versions of the podcast. If you're listening to us, good pods, help us out, man. We've been moving up the – we were number 13, I believe, for a wrestling podcast over there. We've cracked the top 10 a couple times. Help a brother out. People, yeah. people are listening over there let's go um it's much appreciated so shout out to the fine folks of good pods 
We got all in coming up. We got all out coming up. We got I'm I'm a very very busy man. Going to be guesting on Sean's show uh, next Thursday on the 31st, talking horrible wrestling storylines with him. Only only he knows what's in store for us for that. Um, let's get into that show. It won't be super in depth, but we're going to kind of just run through it, give our thoughts, and then you'll get more thoughts when we do the uh, all in preview and predictions. Let's get into this uh, trios match that happened, but it didn't happen. <laughs> um, we were supposed to get the Elite versus Bullet Club Gold, Juice Robinson, and the Guns. Never happened. The Elite just ran up the ramp and started whipping that ass. And uh, during this beatdown, Juice knocked out Rick Knox. Juice Robinson is my hero. He is my hero. He was like, <laughs> Yeah, to Rick Knox. He didn't care. I love it. Um, the match turns into a brawl. Takeshka comes out there. They're beating up Kenny Omega, him and Jay White. FTR come out and help the elite. Um, very different, but they started off with a bang. Very different. Um, you know what? Jay White is the <laughs> most energetic man child i have ever seen in my life bro like he he is our he is our real life roger from family guy <laughs> roger from family guy or um american dad all right all right <laughs> had to had to correct it that was for rob <laughs> gotta correct that <laughs> and big shout out to ee e. agrees with me malachi black can eliminate people from a rumble with one kick so nah see <sighs> Nah, bro. He, he just, yo, you could be in the middle of the ring. You be you stumble <laughs> 15 feet out the ring. All right. So, okay. We'll we'll address that later. Address that later. Mox bring the chainsaw to Wembley. Bugging. <laughs> Probably. Uh, I'm trying to not go in on uh, AW5 for playability, but there was a joke in there, CJ. CJ be getting mad when I crack jokes on the game. I don't get mad. This is my one rule with Fight Forever. I'm going to tell you all this one time, and we're going to talk about this later, too. When we talk Fight Forever, don't start that getting mad shit when there's no more game. When there's just one game in town, I don't want to hear shite, right. nada, nothing. Because that's when the BS goes down. I promise you. Uh, that, that, yeah. <laughs> yep, when there's only one game. Oh, man, I'm sorry to WWE. Anyone who was dogging AEW better support. That's all I'm going to say because you ain't getting another one for a long time if it doesn't get the support it needs. <laughs> sick with the sad face ricky spanish haven't heard that in a while you know why because he's on collision now well, one time for the one time ricky i'm not saying spanish. ridiculous <laughs> ridiculous uh also american dad is funnier than family guy you yeah. are not the first to i've heard say that in recent years, I will agree with you. When um, when Family Guy first came out, before they started doing all that crap, Ameri um, Family Guy was hilarious. Did and they made changes, and that stopped everything. Things change. Sometimes not for the better. Renee Paquette and MJF. Renee was on her uh, Tony Schiavone tonight. Uh, doing these sit-down interviews, MJF hypes up all of his matches that he has going into All In. Uh, they were speaking of some of the issues maybe with an Adam Cole, but MJF was redirecting it. Still came off like a scumbag, but he's your scumbag now. Right. So <laughs> can't stop, won't stop. Not at all. Rockefeller Records. We get down, baby. We get down. <laughs> yeah, but that's um, that's that's what they're doing, man. I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna, I guess we'll get more into that uh, temporarily here. Yeah. Now, I saw Terrell mention that there was a, an injury that had occurred on this show. John Moxley, Ray Phoenix. Um, I'm looking. This is probably my match of the night for me. Well, uh, maybe nah, not. Nah. Okay. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, bro. I don't think you can. I don't think you can skate past that. What? This this might be it, bro. This this was really good. This was very well done, in my opinion. This this might be this might be match of the night, bro. Like, don't get me wrong. The other matches were good, but this was this was the standout. This was the the clear cut standout for me. 
So in this match, Moxley went to work on Phoenix. We saw pile drivers, rolling cutters. Moxley hits the uh, double arm DDT, the paradigm shift. He ends up getting the dub on him with a uh, with a smooth choke out here. Um, I wasn't mad at that, but they definitely started leading into the the injury angle. Now, for those who don't know, I know some people are like Ray Phoenix is hurt and he can't wrestle. That's not the full blown situation from our understanding. It sounds like it's going to be Ray Phoenix was having some visa issues, so they are going to take him out of this match. He probably can't get across to uh, London where he needs to be for this weekend. So they wrote him out of TV. I don't know, Derek, what did you think? Was it the right thing to do? Was it? Um, I'm kind of torn between the two because I guess you could say it's the right thing to do, but I guess you could also go with the, with the notion that, that that actually happened. And, it's it's unforeseen because we didn't know that this was actually going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just we just found out a couple days ago. So I mean, it, to me, I, I I definitely think it's it's unfortunate. But either way, either way you look at it, it can be unfortunate because you have to write him off this way, or you just tell the truth. Hey, he he got stuck. There was nothing we could do. Everything is backed up. We all know everything is backed up when it comes to the visa situation. So, I mean, truthfully, you could say both. Yeah, yeah. And honestly, a lot of people don't know the background of what's going on with a lot of that stuff. And I'm just here to tell you it's it's a messier situation than people think when stuff happens. Yes. That's also the reason why we've been told Wardlow hasn't been around because when he got all his stuff stolen. Right. That sucks for Wardlow that he can't be on the show because someone wanted to steal his stuff. Ridiculous, bro. Um, They get the win. Santana and Ortiz are back together. I hope that these, I hope that, (laughs) I don't know why it made me laugh. The, uh, I hope that they're back together and I hope that they're staying back together. Um, I want them to just be friends again, though. You know what I mean? Like, isn't it weird? I feel the same way about Punk and the Elite. Like, can we just make up and like end all this? Baker, Baker, Thunder, Rosa. See, you hating, bro. You gotta, we gotta create the, we gotta extend that olive branch. I mean, everybody else, yes, but the Elite, I don't know, bro. We got to extend that olive branch. It's time. It's the right thing to do. We need it done. Oh, oh. Uh, that's a very unhealthy olive branch, bro. Well, Santana and Ortiz came out with the, I don't know if it's oranges or baseballs in the socks. They were beating people up. Santana had new music. They were I'm telling you, bro, sweet Valencia oranges. <laughs> Never leave a bruise and let them know who's boss. <laughs> <laughs> they were putting a beat down. Um, I'm just glad Santana and Ortiz are back. Yes. There was an adjustment to this match. Um, I don't have the new card for it, but I will mention it now. Santana and Ortiz. So it's going to be five on five now. No Ray Phoenix on uh, Ray Phoenix on the babyface side, but Santana and Ortiz have joined the heels. This will be good. Five man tag match, bro. That's about- Sta- well, Stadium Stampede. So okay. th- they'll be all over the place. All right. So so that's a legitimate mess. I'll take that. So that makes it legit because the stadium <laughs> stampede. Yes. Okay. So every trio smash should be stadium stampede for you. You'll be fine. Like, yeah, yeah I'll go, be fine let, then. let them run out. Yeah, I'll be fine then. Okay. Okay. Uh, it won't be like that. So afterwards, we see Phoenix is stretchered out and they end up taking him out. Um, yeah. Yeah. So. Well done to write Phoenix off and try to make sense of everything to the best that they can. Still not my favorite match. I would really love to have seen Orange defend the international title on like the international stage. That yeah, that would make more sense to me. But here we are. We're yeah. here. So we'll see what they do. Um, e said still waiting for the follow up to TNA Impact. Yeah, luckily uh, Tony Khan's got some bread. I feel like TNA was uh, running on E after that game. They, they, they just didn't have enough money to do a second game. Um, and the company went out of business, too. Uh, Conrad, if Derek can't use Malachi, then who can he use? I told him, John Silver. I'm not using Johnny Hungry. Bro, bro that, that's a fair person for you to pick. How? Okay, I'm going to okay, get okay. Paul White. Oh, It's a battle of ball dudes. Yeah, yeah, battle of 500 pounds versus 250. Hold on, hold on. Here comes sick. So I got to deal with the mid-game. And a below average game that currently has, let me check, 12 people on Twitch playing. 
<laughs> Once again, you say whatever you want about the game. All I'm saying is I might be keeping receipts for anybody who says all this mess. And then I see you on Twitter, not specifically you, but there's people also in discords and stuff. How come we don't have anything other than WWE 2K? Is this not you posting this ignorance? Is this not you telling someone this game's dead? Well, you get what you get. There's two sides to it. That's how I feel. Yeah. So it's what it's going to be. It's You're not wrong. Has the marketing and stuff been horrible? Yes. I'm going to talk about this in a minute. I promise you. When we get to the game, we're going to get into it. Uh, just in Punk sending stars home at the collision taping. Wow. What do you know? It's, uh, didn't I say there's going to be punk news coming in to you uh, in the chat earlier, James? I hope you're joking. Uh, the Rebby show features the stars of AEW. American Dad officially started getting poop in uh, pooping on Family Guy after the George Clooney episode. Again, it never looked back. Yeah, uh, I can see. I can see that. This was a great match between Mox and Phoenix. This match was great. Stelios Condo Stelio. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix is trying to be an American citizen. He can't leave the country at this time, so that's why. Thank you, Matt. Uh, I quoted Santana and Ortiz were uh, joining BCC. Yeah, I think a lot of people wanted them. Proud and powerful versus FTR would be awesome. Yes. What, wouldn't it? Did you say extended uh, Olive Garden hours? I'm hungry. No, we ain't saying nothing about no Olive Garden. <laughs> Big C is not an Olive Garden fan. Get that trash up out of here. <laughs> Second week watching. The show was fire, in my opinion. I agree. I enjoyed this dynamite. This dynamite times like a hundred compared to last week. Last week, yeah. thumbs down. Not gonna front. Yeah. Thumbs down. Failure of a show. But this week, much, much better. Chris Statlander could join Stadium Stampede and join could, Jade could join BCC. But why would Jade be going back to the TBS championship? Well, I think Jade's above that now. She ran yeah. through everybody in that division. She doesn't need to go back and do it again. I don't know. She did tweet not being in the parking lot brawl. Hey, all out maybe. Yeah, second week watching you guys. Dynamite was fire in my opinion. Faze, I appreciate that, bro. And uh, we're happy to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love hearing your opinions. Uh, pick the belt collector, Yuka, and get the match over with. That was because Rob started messing with my stuff, y'all. <laughs> hey, you could have all the belts one day. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> Never leave your game ar around him. Start messing up stuff. Once the update arrives, Fight Forever is going to be dope. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know I don't know what's going to happen with these updates. I'm interested to see what they do, though. I, I think it'll be better when the updates come. They got long-term. But like Six said, though, Six not wrong. Some damage was done with the game, too. Jack Perry's going to be on collision this Saturday. Ruby Soho's got her eyes on the TBS championship. She better keep her eyes on her nose. Why are we so worried about that tonight, bro? Like bro, you're gonna get I, it broken. I, I just I fear every time she gets into a match, the it seems like the very first move or within the, the first 10 moves has something to do with her face. And that nose is just bound to be broken. It needs to stop. <laughs> like Work work an ankle or something. Don't don't work her face. This guy, look at him. Uh yeah, this segment never happened. <laughs> so catch that on collision. <laughs> I just deleted it out of the thing. Just to be fair. Uh Sammy Guevara. Spanish God. Backstage with the JAS. Uh, at least the, the members that are there. <laughs> yeah, no Jake Hager, but um, just sitting back there and they're having a discussion. Daniel Garcia in 2.0 saying like, Hey, Jericho left us, showed his true colors. Sammy sticking by Jericho. This is dumb baby face syndrome. I don't know who coined this phrase first, but credit to whoever did credit to you. Dumb baby face syndrome. Why would Sammy Guevara trust someone who said he was going to ditch him? Right. I don't like how they set up this Jericho thing because it made Jericho look like an Uber doucher <laughs> big time so i don't know what they were doing with that but they're trying to warn him it sounds like sammy might be getting into a feud with them yeah with uh garcia homies which cool i'm i'm with it i'll i'm willing to hear it out give it a listen i'll take it i'll accept it Derek. this might be my most underrated segment of the night oh nah bro chris jericho versus will osprey this contract signing 
I actually liked it. When's the last time you heard us say that about a Jericho segment? On the real. Like, on the real. It's been a long time, but, bro, rough. <laughs> rough, rough. Yeah. My God. This promo was fire. Like, my man Will Ospreay, that little, he was going in. But then when he got to the point where he started naming people, I was like, yo. He said, I'd be Kenny Omega, Kazuchika Okada, and Chris Jericho in two months. Woo! He was dropping lines. And then how he said that they're all going to pay me, my contract's coming up. I'm getting millions, he said the next one. Good for Will. Will, Will Ospreay killed. Sh- Sean Hubbard from Hubbard Wrestling Weekly quoted on Clash of the Podcast, best wrestler in the world, Will Ospreay. I will not disagree at all. Straight fire. And I thought Jericho delivered a promo very well. Better too. than what he normally does. Yeah, Well, he, he started throwing off the shirt. And he made it seem like he needs this win. It's very important to him. He's like, are you going to be able to hang with me when the spotlight's on me? I've been in this spot a bunch of times. Yes. And he made it sound like this was the biggest match of his career, bigger than anything he's done on Mania, Wrestle Kingdom. I was like, okay, Jericho. He, right. he sold it. He did a good job. He definitely sold it. I, I will fear for Will if that lion tamer comes out. Oh, yeah, knee on the neck. Woo. That comes out, it's over. Sorry, Will, you're my boy. Woo. It's going to be a fun match. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how they oh. perform for this. I think that's going to be a, a sleeper, kind of. Like like I said, if Jericho wanted to have a really, really good match, Will Ospreay's the best opponent for him right now. Yes, no no doubt, no doubt. Um, And then we move into Adam Cole backstage with Renee Paquette, they started talking. Adam Cole was like offended yes. that they were showing the videos of him and Max and the doubts and everything in between. They were not playing tonight. And Adam Cole was like, can't two people just be friends? But he had that that blue eye, stone cold, like yes. be, get early days of stone cold, like 96. Yes. Look in his eyes where I'm like, yo, the homie's mad. Very mad. And, and, I, and I think what set him off was them showing the, uh, the super kick. Yep, and the Roderick Strong stuff too. Yes. Interesting. I'm just saying that. Um, I thought it was very well done. Yes. Big time. The Jets beating Bills week one. Nah, I let me let me divert for two seconds here to answer this, just as a Bills fan. First off, I'm I have to say this. <laughs> Do I get one F bomb right now? What the fuck? Why is everyone in our division, bro? Go go somewhere else. Like, there's mad other divisions that have people teams that are going to be, like, super doo-doo that are going to get in the playoffs. The Bills can have a great record, and we couldn't get in the playoffs during the Tom Brady era. This is trash. Like, go away. You don't go away. And then when you become some washed-up quarterback who ain't got it no more, you got to show up on the Jets every time. What is this? Bro, this, this. no, no, we're not done. This is trash. And then I got to hear from people like this guy how Bill Belichick still has it. They're just paying him because he won all them Super Bowls at this point. Any other coach would have been gone after this stuff. I'm sick of it. Let the Bills be great. But instead, we got to wear us down so we can't do it. Man, y'all lost to the Chiefs again. Well, wouldn't you if you got beaten up by all these teams all the time? Get out of here with this trash. Bro, I still got the bills. Wouldn't, wouldn't you pay somebody who won six rings, bro? Who won six? Who you? Who you talking about? The Jets' new quarterback? He only won one. No, I'm talking about Bill Belichick. No, he got to go, bro. <laughs> I'm tired of this. Yan- Don't get me started. Yankees will get cussed out. Rob will tell you. Out. Oh. Mm. What is it? I don't want to talk baseball. I don't want to talk sports. I'm done. Don't even bring up the Sabers. I got nothing to say to them. Do something. Bro. <laughs> Ruby Soho looks like that girl at the bar. The last girl at the bar. What does that mean, face? Jack going to ask for a uh, glass for the FCW title segment again. Chill, chill. I'm trying to keep the peace over here. Team collision, but keep the peace. Sammy's got a relationship with a toxic parent figure in Jericho. <laughs> Booker T might need to save him again. Sucker. <laughs> uh, Hope will beat the Fozzie members up. <laughs> He'll let me blow up Fozzie playing. 
Um, I love the fa- dumb baby face syndrome made famous by Sting in WCW. Never trust the horseman. Actually, on Star K99, Sting was actually smart when he switched out the uh, the spray the spray stuff that Liz always used to use for uh, Lex Luger oh, yeah. with silly string because he knew she was going to turn. The man called Sting. Uh, bruv, Will Ospreay's a free agent in six months. Sean, G90. Hey, everyone. What's good, Sean? Welcome. Welcome. I like the uh, I like the profile picture. E says Jericho's been writing that I beat Rock and Austin for decades. Osprey got some catching up to do. Triple H was punching air when he saw the Will Osprey promo. Oh, he probably was. Shoot, he might be making him an offer. Don't be surprised. Uh, I love how Will said I'm better than Punk and Danielson. If, if I'm TK, uh, sign Will in January. But does Will want to come over here? He said he said no multiple times. It's up to him. Best wrestler in the world, Will Ospreay and Mercedes Monet. Those are two good names. I will be watching Fozzie, and I'm going to be at All In 2. Sean, that's dope, bro. Enjoy, man. If you can be um, – if you're around, man, definitely check us out. I would love to hear your live thoughts on the show. Absolutely. E, we got to chill. Air Fryer <laughs> Tamer. Jericho's done a great job doing his part to bring the next generation into the spotlight. He has. He has. Uh, this segment was good. Someone said MJF should make Roddy the default call and fight forever. Peace. Damn. Preseason don't count. Preseason got me tight at the Thank Bills you. right now. F the Patriots. Y'all shook of Rodgers. Bro, that's it. Don't sleep on this dude. That's all I'm saying, man. I don't want to hear about how the Bills were in third place this year because Aaron Pac-Man Rodgers or whatever we're going to call him. Fucking cheesehead. <laughs> like He's going to be out here just slanging. And that's, that's the last thing I want to hear. So, buck up, buckaroos. All right? Out of line, but true. <laughs> I will be watching Fozzie Friday and be at All Out Sunday. Oh, they're playing Friday, too? Fozzie or Rob Zombie? Give me Fozzie, bro. Yeah. Anime. <laughs> I'll take Judas on repeat over, am I the right guy? Someone I did five. Um. Could be worse. You could be a Mets fan. That Bobby Bonilla day hits every year. Derek knows I retweet it every year, letting cats remember that. But but we got Stan right now, so I can't really <laughs> talk. Well <laughs> in there. I don't know why they paid him that crazy bread, and he ain't did ish. Uh, I will be here watching it live to show some support. I appreciate that, Sean. Thank you, brother. Uh, Pac Man, as in TNA legend, negative. RIP Terry Funk. Christian, welcome. We did talk Terry Funk in the beginning. Matt Lopez knows Fozzie over Rob Zombie. So, next up, we had a tornado tag team match playoff. I like this match. This this was almost up there for match of the night, too. I think. I think that commercial might have jacked this one up a little bit. Shut up, Derek. Shut up, dude. Picture in picture is horrible. I cannot stand it. Bro, picture in picture, five minutes, not even five minutes into the into that match. Bro. You want to know what grinds Derek's gears? <laughs> picture in picture. Picture in picture is horrible. Always got it. <laughs> Original Biggie, they are who we thought they were. <laughs> Bobby Bonilla got that FU money. Bro, I'll be walking right out with my belly hanging out in a bathrobe right to the mailbox every day. Yep, million dollars here. <laughs> Shout out to the Mets, you right. fools. Uh, Enemy is an underrated song by Fozzie, right? Yeah, thank you, Sean. Quit picking on the Jets. Let's talk about them Sabres. <laughs> 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 this channel over JD from New York. Oh, I appreciate that. Uh, I don't I don't know enough about JD, but uh, I know he's a, a good content creator, apparently by his subs and everything else. Um, yeah, I appreciate you saying that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, support who you like. That's all I can say. That match made me cry a little. Christian K. Oh, we about to get into it. So this match, you saw a lot of crazy moves. I thought AR Fox and Swerve work well together. Yes. Well, I have to disagree with the direction that they are going with this. Look at you. Go ahead. Well, let, I guess let's get in the finish. Nick Wayne rolls up AR Fox, hits that bridge for Tiffany on Indie Wrestling Corner. <laughs> perfect she interviewed him many times so i felt like that was for her the uh the bridge is hit gets the roll up win and afterwards swerve gets mad and i was like oh this is shades of what happened with keith lee again yep he's like you suck (laughs) you basically told ar fox you suck you lost to a kid 
And uh, afterwards, he was ready to put the beat down on him. Cage came in, puts the beat down. So basically, they already kicked out AR Fox out the group. Which is what I don't like. What are you doing, Sway? Like, this is too early. Well, so on the media call there, I was not on this one. Um, Tony Khan did say that he has to make changes to the cards. Some of these things are outside of his control. Some of them weren't other people's fault. Some of them he seemed pissed about. So maybe AR Fox couldn't get over there to do this match. But, A, we, we, we had to make some changes here. I guess. Uh, I guess. I just want to know why Christian Cage came out after this. Yeah. So Sting and Darby come back. Darby, Darby, another dumb baby face syndrome. I always will respect you, but he always has said that. I always will respect you for what you did. Picked him up and said, I got you, bro. So they, they helped him up. But then Christian and Luchasaurus came out. <laughs> if Christian finds out your father has passed away, you need to hide. Right. I don't even want Christian to know of anything that's been going on in my life because right. Christian will get them digs in. And he, I shouldn't even say digs around him because he got, he always got them jokes about daddies. And he went in on Nick Wayne's dad. I was like, yo, this man is foul, bro. Like, do they, do they actually talk about this before they do it? They, I pray they do because, because I'm not, I'm not going to lie, bro. There was one dig that he hit where I thought Nick was actually going to cry, bro. I'm like, yo, that's terrible. You can't say that. Christian is a foul, foul man. And I'm, I'm starting to really dig the new line. Hey, hey, pipe down while I'm trying to conduct business. <laughs> um, Christian Cage, the new stepdaddy mentor. Picture in picture brought to you by Domino's and a pizza cutter. Come on, Christian. <laughs> that was years ago now. Come on now. Nah. Someone, someone was snitching on the east side. I know that's what that was. ESPN stroking over Rodgers and the Jets. Glad he's out of the NFC. Thanks, bud. I, he can go back there for all I care. Uh, poor Fox. Worst breakup i ever seen. It was like watching a pimp let go of his former top performer. Come on now. <laughs> no Met slander, please. It's all good. Bobby Bonilla did. That's all I ever heard him say bad about them. He got like 10 years on that contract. Facts. I love this tornado tag. What the hell was Swerve Fire and Fox? I, I, I'm going to miss like Fox fit with him. Fox definitely fit. Yeah, I don't know. I hope they don't regret that. Stay off them Sabres and Bills, man. Let's get that National Buffalo Wing Festival. I'll be there. <laughs> I can use some good wings these days. That tactical neck, Derek. <laughs> and a slightly darker black. Lana. <laughs> Christian Cage found a new kid to bully. Lana! <laughs> and a new MILF to hit on. Come on now. What happened with Jeff tonight? Je which Jeff are you referring to, Christian? Um, I'm trying to get into this painless over Judas. Somebody said Tokyo the Menace. <laughs> Christian Cage new theme should be a new daddy by the whitest kids you don't know. Two thousands uh, comedy trope. Christian Cage needs that one kid with the green hair that said that sick don't like. Oh no no no! Nick Wayne got Darby as a father figure. Darby got Sting right in front of Christian Salad. They they deserve that. <laughs> I'm I'm glad I was the only one who thought Nick Wayne was about to cry. I, I definitely, I can't, I can't think of the, the dig that he said, but I'm like, yo, that's tough, bro. Like, you can't say that. Renegade L2K said, what's on the menu for Wembley tonight? I mean, we had Postolitos tonight. Big shout out to uh, B and C for hooking us up with those. Yes. Those are um, if the, I don't know. I don't know what, what do you, do you guys have an idea what you want to eat? Oh. Uh... Or are we waiting for all out? I don't know. We we might have to go light for all in. All in is middle of the day. Yeah. I'm trying to have no BGs happening at, yeah. at 4 p.m. Like, bloop, bloop. Right. Bloop, bloop. Uh, we should be live afterwards. I don't know how long we'll go, but we'll probably try to get on here and be live after if we can. Uh, Hardy, I heard he was supposed to do a swanton, but did a splash instead or something. I didn't see that. I know that the swanton's been hurting him lately. Yeah. So whatever you think of that is uh, what it's going to be. For, for him, um, Young Bucks and FTR they have their sit down. I hated the Young Bucks in this. The whole we started this company, we gave you your name. Shut up. 
Just shut up. Yeah, and you and you took away possibly one of the greatest matches ever. But what match did they take away? Oh, I don't know. You know, we somebody could have had you gotta chill, bro. <laughs> so, somebody could have had a plethora of tag team titles around their waist, but you know. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, we yeah, I won't get into that. Um we here at 9 a.m. for Cali. Oh, we coming to your house then, James. Breakfast burritos, bro. <laughs> yeah, 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 little boy. I'll take uh, I'll take bacon. <laughs> uh, is it all out next week? It is. All ins this week. All outs next week. But they started asking about food plans, so I'm like, I, I don't know what we about to do here. Uh, I would like to see Matt <laughs> said Mutt <laughs> Mutt <laughs> Matt and Jeff retire already. Um, I think we're getting there with them. We'll see what happens. Jeff don't have to do nothing anymore. He should dumb down that moveset like AJ and all the greats do when they get old. I agree. He doesn't need to do any of that stuff. Pick and choose what you want to do. Ah, the Bucks have sucked. Original Biggie said. Punk could have replaced Cash if he didn't make it. Just saying. Could have. The best thing out of that FTR Bucks interview was uh, when Renee when was sad to say was Renee hair and boots just bouncing loud, talking nothing important. Preach it, Derek. Uh, the real bucks were shining in that uh, corny ass promo, man. Yeah, we'll see. I think the match is going to be good. The match has to be good for this one. For I think for the sake of the bucks, because they haven't really had like hits really lately, bro. I know what's coming, and I fear what's coming, and I fear what I have to say when it happens, bro. They're winning, bro. Spoiler I, alert on that pick for me. Yeah. Listen, I promise you right now, my greatest rant is WWE Hell in a Cell. If you don't, say, not, don't say nothing. You can't live up to it, bro. No, I, I'm sure I'll be able to live up to it. Nah, I don't think so for this. I, I think I got if, – if I can't live up to it, I'll come close. Since uh, since we're on the topic of AEW, do y'all think Edge, Adam Copeland, is coming over? So rumor had it today, Derek, Edge – Went to WWE and said, do you have an offer for me? And WWE said, well, what do you want? He put out the number and said some things. And they said, no, we can't do that. They are getting ready to restructure the company, the Endeavor sale and everything else. Is Edge done? Yes. So you don't think he goes to AEW? No, I think he's done with WWE. Oh, you think he's coming over then? Yeah. I mean, he could finish up with Christian. I don't see why not, bro. You could, like I said, you could even ha- you could even toy the idea of one last TLC match with Something. them. I don't know. I, like someone told me, Devon might not be able to wrestle. I think it was E. Um, we'll see. Renegade said 50-50 booking with this. Just watch. Okay, okay. Personal opinion: AW will be better without the Bucks and Omega. Woo! I feel like a title change is coming on Sunday. Uh, I'd love to see Adam Copeland show up and cost Christian the title. If Tony has the money, Edge would bite. We'll see. His friends are over there, too. He's friends with FTR. Bucks win. FTR win it all out. Then we get the first ever tag team Iron Man match. Ooh. Mm. That does the Bucks no favors, too, though, in the long run. Uh, we got a pr- preview for the Women's Fatal 4-Way. Rampage, we got a confirmation of all of the women will be in a tag match. Baby faces versus heels. Uh, we're going to move on from that. Ruby Soho, Sky Blue. Ruby jumped Sky Blue early on in this match. I thought this was a fine match. Sky Blue is still progressing. I'm happy with what Sky Blue is doing. I thought Sky Blue was going to win here. I thought so, but, too. But they went with Ruby for the dub. Destination unknown for the win. Um, good dub for Ruby. They're still trying to build that tension here with Soraya and Tony Storm. So this seemed like a match just to have a match on the card. I don't know wh- what the build is. Maybe this is towards the TBS championship for Ruby. I would, I would assume so. Um, I, I don't really see any, any other way to go with it. Yeah. You had Roderick Strong and the uh, the Kingdom cut a promo. We also had uh, the Acclaimed come out, and they decided, hey, we want that those trios titles. House of Black came out, whipped that ass. And then uh, <laughs> Billy Gunn came out and said that at Wembley, you're getting a bad ass. Yeah, Billy Gunn was pointing the fingers, and he was said, shaking. Billy Gunn was on fire tonight, though. Yeah. I thought it was a good promo. He it said was. that... Uh, He's bringing out badass Billy Gunn for this one. Yep, yep. I can't wait. But I, I don't have I don't have that on the card right now. 
Do, does the acclaimed beat the House of Black for the titles finally? No. This is the third time. I'm saying I, I got the acclaimed beating them. Nah, bro. Then that'll be two big rants here. Why, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why can't the acclaim beat them? They've lost three. Derek, they have to win. No. Who can beat who can beat the House of Black? They've been chance for long enough. Nah, bro. It ain't that time. It's not that time, bro. It is not that time. They overdue, bro. Nah. They overdue. You, could, you get them to win the trios, the trios titles, and then what? Billy Gunn retires? Who fills that spot? What are you talking about? They're going to be the champs short term, probably. I'm not saying they're going to keep the belts forever, but give Billy and them the belts. Okay, the only way I see that this works is if the, if the Acclaim beat them and, and then uh, House of Black gets their, their kickback. What, you want them to get the belts right back? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Sorry, dude. They've been champs for months, bro. Who's beating them then? Nobody. That's bullshit. Done. <laughs> Done. Nobody, bro. Every <laughs> Devil's necktie for everybody. Um, I wonder what happens in regards to tomorrow to the players. Uh, seeing how Tony and Omega announced to release the stadium stampede. It's going to be out at 6 a.m. for us. Edge of Christian versus FTR versus the Hardys. I can see it. Yeah. Uh, and the stardom chicks possibly coming to AEW. Yeah, I saw Mariah May was the name that they were looking at. Unpopular opinion, Rob says. Edge, whatever he's asking for, he's not worth it. Let him go. He's not a draw. He'll pop a number initially, but that will undoubtedly wane like usual. Ooh. Sky Blue is an asset to the company. She is grill master. Without FTR, I could see it. Billy dressed like Nash in the TNA game? Chill. <laughs> Acclaim going to uh, win like that Grand Slam. They doing it for the big crowd. Because the Acclaim got their tag run ended kind of early, too. Like, they weren't really done, and they were like, yeah, you're dropping the belts to the guns. Not my problem. Don't get me wrong. I love the Acclaim. But, uh, do you have no soul? I do not. Come on, I, I love the Acclaim, but... Love the House damn of sure Black don't better. sound like it. I love House of Black better. House of Black can go for the tag titles after losing the trios. That's what I'm saying. Mix it up. Let them go out there now and get in the tag division. Okay, I'll, I'll take that if they get to take the tag titles away from the Young Bucks. GG, my guy. I want death to the elite. Not happening. <laughs> and Kenny don't deserve that shit. <laughs> yes, so he dur- does. No, he doesn't. He's Kenny, defending. Nah. So during All In, AW will release Scissor Me Baddie Ass Badass Daddy shirts, right? Could be. If they do, I'm buying. He lying, bro. I want to see the receipt that day. <laughs> Remember Flair retired then showed up at TNA. Yeah, we know Flair too. Uh, Acclaim wins and we get the scissors. Yeah, I think the Acclaim's winning too. That's all right. If as long it works as long as FTR loses, the Bucks get the titles and. House of Black goes after them. All right, let me see if I can do this in my Excalibur voice. <clears throat> me, 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 me. Jay White, Swerve, Luchasaurus, and Brian Cage, and Christian versus CM Punk, Darby Sting, and a mystery partner. Some Ojo on commentary. Orange Cassidy, Penta, and Eddie Kingston versus The Butcher, The Blade, The Motherfucking Blade, and Kip Sabian. <laughs> FTW champion Jack Perry will be on collision as well. I hope there's no glass involved. And... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. And all in card, they ran it down. We're going to go through that here in a second. ROH tag titles, Hardys versus Aussie Open. Aussie Open wins clean. I'm not going through all this match, all right? Hardy boys, they, yo, they were just dumping these boys. Yes. Jeff ends up eating the L. Aussie Open gets the clean win. After the match, MJF and Adam Cole run down. They tease the, the tag match for zero hour, which we're going to get. Then... The super kick that was almost missed. They look at each other, and I was just waiting for my way or the highway. Yeah, this time. But you know, Derek, no title changes for anybody that he likes. <laughs> my way or the highway. Um, and they they built it up. This is the most popular storyline. Okay with that title change if it happens. <laughs> Somebody said you sound like the monster truck. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> You're gonna be here right away. I tried to do it Excalibur. Excalibur's got to slow down. This is why I like Collision better. Slow the fuck down. You don't have to do all this. Just slow down. Um, remember, Terry Funk had that Jimmy Hart's uh, Eagle Desperado ripoff in Legends of Wrestling? Yeah, actually, I was trying to look for that today when I was posting the TikTok story, but they did not have a good one that I liked. 
So I went with Bon Jovi. Wanted, dead or alive. In his defense, Vince forced Flair to retire. Don't defend him. <laughs> don't defend Ric Flair. But you are correct, but don't defend him. He don't need nobody's help. He's a fool. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oi, oi, oi. Yeah, it's going to be good, man. Uh, Adam Cole and the Kingdom of Strong are swerving everyone. I'm going to tell y'all this right now. I told everyone to post them all in cards that would be better, and I didn't see not a one. Not a near one. So where were them all in cards when I asked for them? This show sucks. <laughs> where is Where's your card? Same restrictions Tony got. I'd even include all the visa problems that he's got going on. Where's your card? Running out of time. I'm just saying, it got us flare lethal. That is true. That was a that was a good moment. That was a good moment. All right, I'll give six some more leeway. Right. My bad. That is true. Non-title match on that contract. Cole wins. MJF shows the fine print. All out rematch. I don't know, man. I can see them. I can see them adding uh adding the boys in here. Let's let's get into this real quick. I know we're gonna be running into overtime. Y'all saw the stadium stampede up. I didn't think I was gonna have to bring this up, but this was in the screenshots earlier this week. Y'all saw it. Go check out my YouTube shorts. I put that up. Show me some love on there. I, I, I try to tell people I say stuff first, but nobody sees it. You're too busy trying to, let's go to the big YouTube channels. Bam, 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 bam. I tried to tell y'all what to do, but you don't want to listen. So you keep you keep fucking with them if you want to. Tell your friends, yeah, no, go listen to the big channels. When we got, sometimes we drop some exclusives over here. Right. All right. It's not my fault. I just don't want anybody out in these streets getting yelled at. You fucking mark! Not my words, not my words, but some people end up getting yelled at. All right. So it sounds like we're finally getting stadium stampede mode brought into the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Sounds like we're getting that finally added into the game. I don't know if people uh are feeling it. But it looks interesting. It looks interesting. You're going to be on the field. If you're a fan of Fortnite, supposedly it's like that. But with wrestling, um, people are going through things. It looks like the Jacksonville Arena. Looks like some of their seasons. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, but they got the trucks out there. You can, It looks like people can run across the field goal post. Looks cool. Looks cool. I'm interested to see what you can do with this. I don't know if this mode will keep you busy for a while. Darby Allen going through life as it, as it beholds for him. Wardlow slamming him through all them chairs. Um, looks like they got weapons out there. Uh, looks like a cannon launcher. They got treasure chests. One of them shirt launcher. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what they call it. Uh, shirt launcher. I was going to make a very inappropriate joke, but I caught myself. I'm going to keep it PG, TV 14 for y'all. So Fight Forever, trying to get back on track. Still waiting for uh, some updates and things like that from everyone. Um, let me see here. Six said, I ain't have time, but the card still sucks booty. You got until Saturday. I'm waiting to see these cards that everyone keep talking about. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm going to challenge people, though, when they say it. I said the same thing to Sean and everyone else. Show me your card that you would do that would be better. Right. What do you do with these situations? You got people acting a fool. Were you team sign the elite? Oh, no, we don't want to work with Punk. He hurt our feelings. Are you team uh, uh, CM or against CM Punk? Yeah, we got people just wanting to smash people in the face, and then he goes out and makes stupid comments. I hear you. On both sides, but what are you going to do if you're Tony Khan? How do you book this? Do you? I know you're supposed to sit there and tell them, like, yeah, do it. But then you have people, like I said, you got to sign the elite. They're the heart and soul of AEW. They're going to, the day's going to come where they have to leave. Cody already left. That that day is over with the originals. Yes. I don't care. Like, if you don't have anything to offer, don't get them. But I know Tony wanted probably Kenny Omega yes. out of all of them. If everyone else was going to walk, walk, go. Go do your thing then. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's nothing else you could really say or do at that point. 
Uh, also, Flair versus Foley, last man standing in TNA. Yeah, I remember that match. Lethal Machismo, best ever. AEW, 7 out of 10. EPW, 10 out of 10. Rob Zombie sucks. I will say tonight's AEW, I will give it a 7.5. Yeah, I agree with that. Way better than last week's 6, I think I gave him. Should have been a 5.5, but I found some humor and some messed up stuff last <laughs> week. <laughs> well, actually, nobody confirmed it first until after people made their videos on it. AEW dropped their video to confirm it. I hear you, Christian, but someone that I dropped my video before that even was confirmed. I told people it was coming. Like I said, people talk around, and p- people knew that it was dropping. And that screenshot gave it away, too, because why would you have Stadium Stampede right next to it? It was a big deal for them. They shot that commercial. It was very smart what they did. What I'm saying is there are people who talk trash about the game, and they don't, oh, no, I don't know, let's wait, blah, blah, blah. Oh, right, I've got the news here to confirm it. I'm glad they're, like I said, people shitting on the game, and then they'll be, yeah, they finally listened to me. Blah, 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 because they're never wrong. They're never wrong about shit. Like, I'll come on here. I've told y'all I've been wrong about stuff. I was wrong about Britt Baker. Britt Baker got over. I've admitted that. Like, I got that wrong in the beginning. But there are some people who won't admit that. They'll just be like, oh, no, I told y'all this was coming. Uke's version of Rumbleverse. Another reason not to buy that game. Wow. I'm telling you, when y'all stuck with that WWE game, I don't want to hear shit. I better hear this is the best game ever. This game is great. (laughs) This game does not make up for THQ and A being ultra slow on the DLCs and updates. Mm. One day I'll tell you more, Christian. Trust me. Uh, gameplay is popping. What's uh, in those chests? Better server connection, I hope. <laughs> wow. Hub, make an all-in car video right now. Who knew Ukes would uh, make them fire? Oh, come on. E. We ain't talking about no cash wheeler right now. And why the F is Punk sending people home? EVP ain't got nothing to do with that shit. Why is CM Punk on his own show and he can't be on Dynamite? Why you put him on an island? That's enough to drive any sane man berserk. Come on. Why 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 you get to do that? This is the Elite Show on Dynamite. Go ahead. Do 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 carry on my way, son. You saw what last week did. Don't you cry no more. Yep. Yep. 7.5 out of 10. Maybe they'll do a forbidden door thing except with collision versus dynamite. Maybe. Maybe. Uh 7.5 out of 10. E says, gotta assemble your favorite wrestling game influencers. It's been a month and a half uh, for the game, right? Games are us. Salute, y'all. What's good, Games are us? We just were talking about that uh, fight forever mode. If you guys got some comments on it, feel free to leave it in there. Like I said, uh, you got people riding on horses, and this is this just looks wild. Yeah. <laughs> if this is up your alley, you might enjoy this. If it's not, you might want to be wait for the other updates. I mean, it, it, it looks like it'll be like one of those. Um... It's dad. <laughs> <laughs> it's dad. Um, it looks like one. Of, it'll be one of those updates, you know, like, like, like a, like a, like a house party kind of game, you know, like, like a house party mode. Yeah, yeah, it's different. Uh, I haven't heard this AW event Sunday about to be crazy. Oh, okay, haven't played it yet. Well, welcome, welcome. If you guys enjoy, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Do whatever you guys got to do. We got horses. How y'all complaining? <laughs> Next week, I will face Xavier Woods in a video game. I need videotape. I need videotape this time. Got to see if you win. Uh, Battle League was good, y'all. This AEW game looked lit. Yeah, man, if you haven't checked it out, man, if you like the old uh, Aki games, you might enjoy it. Horses. Backstory. Salute, gang. Uh, he brought me here. Okay. Much respect. Much respect, man. Um, Let's get into All In. We're going to kind of go through this card. All In. Wembley Stadium. You ain't going to tell me otherwise. This joint looks fire. Listen, I know everybody's trying to compare this to WrestleMania. Is this their WrestleMania? We don't know. No. I don't know. And nor do I give a damn at this point if it is or if it isn't their WrestleMania. Um, they got to do what they got to do here. They got a card together. Now it's time to deliver on it. Yes. Like I said, we just talked about the acclaimed versus House of Black. I don't know. That match is probably going to be on the regular card. Derek don't want his boys to lose their trios titles. It's 
got to probably go down, though, because if they don't beat them, I don't see who else could except for Punk and FTR at that point. That would be the only one. Only but one. I don't think I don't think they need those belts from them right now. I think that made them look stronger when they won. But we'll see. Maybe maybe the acclaim don't do it. We'll see. I think I think they win though. That's my prediction. And I write. Bitches. <laughs> Can't complain we don't get your way in booking. Zero hour. We got Aussie Open defending the Ring of Honor tag titles against MJF and Adam Cole. Derek, chat. Who you got? Aussie Open. Really? Yes. What what happens here? MJF and Cole can't get on the same page. Mm. Everything the the turmoil between the two will culminate in this match. This this will this will be the reason why they will not be friends when it comes to the main event. They will be done. Right? Um game game games are us at all in's about to be fire. Uh, it's different. Reminds me of that other game. It's different. Uh, they sold out. Uh, WWE. They outsold WWE. They got a lot of hype to live up to. Yeah, let's go. They got WrestleMania out of here. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm surprised AEW won't be showing all in in theaters, especially with the four dollar movie tickets on the 27th. Such a wasted opportunity. Um, baby, all day, every day. Yeah, listen, I don't know. Cole and them might, they might do it, man. I'm kind of worried because Aussie Open's been defending the belts a lot. I am going to go with the weird assumption that Aussie Open wins too. I feel like Roderick or someone's going to cost them. So that's my weird think, thinking process on it. I don't think we see new tag champs here. Because I don't really see, I don't see the reason why they would take the belts and then you're never going to wrestle anybody on Ring of Honor. Well, because you could have them take the belts and keep them just for a short time. You could, but instead that keeps them linked together, even if they break up. True, but but then like the the turmoil has already started. We'll see. I gotta see what the story is. I can't tell what they're doing here. They've been they've been playing around. Uh, Ace has Aussie open. Sting pointing to the nearest Best Buy to buy a new PS6. Once those horses in the game end up breaking my PS5 due to coding issues. Wow, wow, the hate is real right now. Damn. I hope you I hope y'all be talking crazy about WWE in these games like this. Damn. Don't let WrestleQuest pop up in your system, <laughs> man. Man. Um, let's see here. Yeah, unless they want to be pushed as a tag team, I have Aussie open too. Uh, what's the career mode like in the game? Career mode's fun. It depends on what you uh enjoy out of it. It's not long, it's pretty short, and I think one of the trophies is played through it 10 times. Uh, it was done by the guy who made Road to WrestleMania. I got MJF and Cole. It seems split, bro. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. I don't know. I, so I got Aussie open. Here, I'm going to rock with you. I think this should open up the show. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Chris Jericho. Will Ospreay needs that New Japan theme. The da -da 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 -da. <laughs> I'm probably about to listen that, to that at the gym tomorrow. I might do wrestling themes tomorrow when I'm working out. <laughs> I got Will Ospreay winning this. I think this will be a great match for Jericho, but I think this is Jericho's final penance here to see where he's going moving forward. Yes. I agree with that. Will, Will Ospreay needs this one. In front of in front of his home country? Yeah. It's a big deal for him. If, like, if you don't give him that win, ah, you have to have something bigger and better for him. Lion tame. Well, he doesn't work for them technically. Though. I know, but. Why would you can't you, you can't sacrifice your top talent for him? Is are you here? True, but that is top talent that you brought in for this. Games are us got Jericho. Ace says Will Osprey. Horses, I want to ride the white horse in the games. P.S. Osprey looks like a Walmart Punisher. You better stop it. You better stop it. Easy E salute. Thanks. Um, thank you, E, for explaining that for me. Um, I better see Great Ogan as his second <laughs> big rev pro in the U.S. Man, I don't, I don't think we're going to see uh, anyone else from that crew in there. That's just me. Um, let's get into the coffin match. Now, this match has changed. I don't have updated graphics. I done told y'all. Tony Khan knows. CJ got good graphics. Time to mess around and mess them up. 
Now it is Darby and Sting versus Swerve and Christian Cage, the greatest TNT champion that ever existed. <laughs> he was like, Lucha Swerve, you ain't holding shit. I got this, bro. I got this. So it's still a coffin match. Christian's comments earlier about Nick Wayne, don't watch this. It'll give you bad memories. Talking about his pops. Yo, Christian is wild, bro. Yes. Bro, I... I... Who who you got in this one? Sting and Darby. I they have never lost a coffin. Sting's undefeated technically. I don't know if people know that, but Sting has no L's at this point. Come on, E. You gotta chill with that. <laughs> um let me see. Jericho gotta take a, a pen to as a thank you to Osprey for dragging three stars out of him. <laughs> Y'all mean <laughs> Sting got got the uh the goat, gotta go with him. Darby wins. Yeah, it's his match type. I feel the same. Darby ain't losing no coffin match. I can see it. Yeah. I, I, I just don't like the, the how they have to do this. But then again, we don't know why they have to do it this way. What, removing Fox? Yes. Uh, e, everyone's probably guessing some type of visa issue we can't get over there. So, And, and, I, and I understand it, and it sucks, but... Yeah, and I don't know. I just really wish that they would have kept him and uh Swerve together yes. for a little bit. But that one that one I would have wrote off because we don't know what the situation is. I would have wrote that off with an injury. Um or or not even an injury. You could have you could have even said, Oh, hey, you ready for our match? Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I don't think uh AR Fox can join you. We're stinging them, take them out, maybe or something. Yes. They could have did something like that. Um, maybe they left him somewhere, like they kidnapped him in uh yeah, Bloody Way in school. Some yeah, you could have you could have did some different things. Um also Stadium Stampede, uh Blackpool Combat Club. We found out the mystery partners. Uh it's gonna be five on five now, and it'll be Blackpool Combat Club, Santana and Ortiz, proud and powerful, versus Penta, Eddie Kingston, and the best friends. Ray Phoenix also uh not gonna be on that. They they did an injury angle tonight, having them get stretchered out. Who you got for Stadium Stampede, man? It's hard, man, because I find it hard to believe in the BCC these days. But I feel like they need this dub more than anyone else, too. Uh, I, I'm gonna say I'm going with the heels for myself, Derek. Give me BCC Santana and Ortiz are redebuting, and I think Moxley has to figure out a way to get a title shot at All Out against Orange. That's how I'm feeling with this. Yeah. And you could continue Claudio and Kingston. You could build that up some more. Yeah. Un- unfortunately, I have to go with that as well. It's not what I wanted to see, but I think that that's what it has to be. Right. Uh, six said, when is Sting turning on Darby? Y'all know it's, get- it's going to happen eventually. I feel like someone's going to either put them into the match with each other. I, Yo. So. I don't want to reveal this because I have an idea, but I have an idea how someone later on who is a different champion could make Darby and Sting fight, and then it leads to something else, and it'll lead to a bigger situation. Christian getting buried for the second time this year. <laughs> Terrible. Fox was uh, Cash's. Yo, yo. Uh, I just subscribed. I'm definitely liking the content. Man, I appreciate that, family. Thank you. Uh, me and uh, Backstory do fantasy wrestling drafts at Matchbook, and it's cool. That's what's up, man. Uh, faces need the win though. I think BCC needs a win streak. Yeah, it's tough, man, because best friends they they lose a lot too. They do. They definitely do. That's why I want to go with them. But with the angle that Mox has a chance to, you know, challenge for the title, I think that's the stronger bet. Rob said, "I hope Santana flips. Dude looks like a star. I want him and Ortiz just to be friends. I don't care if they go singles, but be friends, man. Right? I just hate it. I hate the turmoil right now in AEW. But everyone can't be friends. BCC Santana and Ortiz for sure. Whoops, I meant BCC. I don't, BBC. I'm gonna assume you were talking about the uh, the the channel. <laughs> Let that rock." Uh, pull up anytime, EPW. For sure, man. For sure. We used to rap back in the day. Uh, I'm old now, though. I've uh, We didn't retire the mic. Yeah. People would come on here and tell us to start freestyling and stuff like that. But I'm like, let me let me set the mic down. Right. Let me back away from here. Um, BCC for the win. I got Blackpool Combat Club. Pause. I'm not calling them BBC. <laughs> 
play. play. <laughs> Laugh out loud, BBC. Also, why is the international championship not being defended? Internet. Rob, we said the same thing earlier. Pac was taken around the world during his reign. Facts. Facts. I kind of miss Pac. I, I, Pac and Will Ospreay would be a match that I want to see again. Oh, gosh. That match would be bonkers. Dude, get the, get the oxygen tanks ready. <laughs> That Osprey music gonna hit is gonna be GG for the real world championship. It is going to be Chicago made punk versus Samoa Joe. People talk about guys going all the way from wrestling in front of a little crowd to 80,000, bro. 80,000 fans, that is great for these guys. Like like I said, if you couldn't get that elite match or FTR and Punk versus Omega and the Bucks, this is the next best thing. Had to be. You had to do this match, I think, if it was something else. But but I definitely think this was the, the right bet to go with. I, I definitely think this was the right idea, the right moment, the right time, all of it. This, this is what we need from both of them. Yeah. Uh, in this one, man, I got to go with Punk. Yes. Punk wins. I still have this feeling Punk is going to challenge for the world title in Chicago. How long do you keep see, this world championship yeah. stuff up? I don't see why not. Uh, how do you think the reaction will be if Sting turns on Darby? Man, I think it will be the most uh, effective heel turn of his career. I So I just watched 99 WCW. Like I went through almost every pay-per-view of some of the Nitros. And yeah, I hated Sting's heel turn in 99. I hated it. If they could pull it off better, maybe. I thought the main event mafia, like, tweener type of sting was cool, but he was still technically a baby face, in my opinion. Um, maybe. Maybe they could pull that off one last time. Uh, this is going to be a great match. Punk got to win. I agree. This is why I was going to advocate, though, for Punk losing in the Owen Hart Cup so that this would be where he finally can get the big dub. Right. Where all eyes were on him. But. Things turned out differently. Let's see what happens with it. But him and Joe should tear down the house. Uh, I'm happy for both of them. Two of my favorites, too, biasly. <laughs> uh, women's championship match. This is going to be a tough one to call. You got Soraya. You got Hikaru Shida, the current champ, Tony Storm, and Dr. Britt Baker, DMD. I'm going with Shida. I think I'm going with Shida, too. Man, Shida to retain. Yes, only because I think Soraya and um, Tony, Tony, they they will battle each other. I, the the wedge will be put in between the two. Who I see because I kind of feel like Thunder Rose has got to be the next challenger too. She has to be. She has to be. Then we get to Thunder Rosa. If someone was going to, if someone else other than she was going to win this, who would you pick? Go back to Tony. Do you go with Soraya in her home country? Do you go with Britt Baker, kind of the face of the division? Oh, you know what? That's tough, bro. Um, I would say this would have to go to. I would give it to Soraya. Okay. Okay. Sheeta winning, no doubt. Yeah, I got Sheeta. Uh, I'd go for DMD and Soraya, and Tony might break up the stable. I could see that too. Uh, Battle League, I got Soraya. Okay. Okay. I see some people saying Soraya, too. Um, yeah, I'm going to stick with Sheeta. I think Sheeta's going to be the surprising, like, you didn't see that coming, did you, type of pick. Let's get into the next match. Another version of the Elite. Kenny Omega, Hangman Adam Page, and Kota Ibushi versus Kanosuke Takeshka, Jay White, and Juice. Robinson looking like me want honeycomb. Uh, <laughs> me want honeycomb head ass. <laughs> what do you? What do you? What do you think of uh, this match? Um, that's got to go to. Bullet Club. Yes, I think so. There's a there's a story element into this as well that you could tell. Kenny Omega has been the ire of two friends here, Hangman and Coda. What if Hangman got jealous and then turns on Coda, or these two start beefing? Yes. There you go. You got a match inside there. 
Maybe you have those guys try to start a feud with Jay White and them. I think Kenny Omega and Kenosuke Takeshka will happen on All Out yes. weekend. I think you're going to get a one-on-one between them. And I would even possibly say put Takeshka over. Because I feel like they haven't established him enough since he's uh, left. I agree. I agree. Because he's um, also with Don Callis. Yes. Boo, so, the, Yo, Wembley, boo this man out of the building. Yes. God, it has to be clear, and I know you guys can do it. All my homies hate Don Callis. <laughs> uh, Golden Hang Leet win this. <laughs> Juice with uh, Miwa Honeycomb, Sonic the Hedgehog looking ass. <laughs> Juice just wild, bro. Big CJ Parker guy, though. Big fan of Juice Robinson. Tag team match. The Blicky versus the Sticky. This is going to be the Young Ducks versus FTR. Derek, you can get as mad as you want, bro. You can get as mad as you want. Before we even knew what was going on with Cash, I had my doubts, bro. Think about it, Derek. They signed new contracts. They they ducked them the first time because it wasn't the time to do it. Do you think they're going to win now? Bro. This is their best leverage chance to get this win. Uh, and it's not cool, though, is the sad part. It won't feel cool because it's like, uh, did you guys politic your way into this? And If they win, I'm going to say yes. They politicked all the way to, to the bank. We don't know for sure. I know for sure. That is, uh, Derek, you can send your hate mail, too. Not me. But I, and I accept every single bit of it. Yeah, Derek's on his own for that shit. Don't be sending that shit to EPW Show. <laughs> Follow us on all social media platforms. We're on uh, uh, Blue Sky now as well. If you guys are on there, check me out. Bro, I do not agree with them winning winning the titles. Why do you need them? Why? Why not? I don't know. Because you took, you took away the possibly the greatest match we could have ever had. In AEW history. Man. Uh, so Christian says FTR for sure. FTR should win. I don't care as long as Dax calls this match. I agree. Dax needs to call the match. If No matter what, Dax needs to come up with the finish, I think, for both of the teams and say, like, this is how we're working it. <laughs> the Blicky versus the Sticky. That Sticky booking. Yeah. I just feel like the the incident with Cash and the whole I can't really say it because I don't want YouTube to demonetize the video on us because we already swore in this, but it's, it's BS. <laughs> Speaking of BS, well, let me stop. Let me stop. But honestly, the uh, the match here, I don't know. I don't know. Like why FTR winning would be the swerve at this point. It would be the swerve, and that's the swerve that we need. I don't. I just can't see Tony doing it. Cause what if this dude gets into trouble? Then you got the belt on them. What do you do? You run into issues. But we don't know. But maybe he's not in trouble. Maybe he's like, I had nothing to do with this. Then you took the belts off him, and it's a mistake. You're in a bad situation. I think where you may have to. Maybe they do what James said. James said they take the belts off him, and then they win them back it all out. Maybe you know something in a week. I hope so, because <laughs> he said in the dusty voice, that's not for you, baby. That's for the stinger. That's for Luga, daddy. It's not for you, Steve. I got Kenny Omega in the elite. Uh, all Cash has to do was, man, y'all got to chill trying to get me in trouble. <laughs> you young bucks more like young no bleeps to give them. Cash was holding like he was on his way to Hot 97 in the 90s. <laughs> Jake Stone, what's good, Jake? Appreciate you, family. Uh, I bet this match uh, is – I bet this is the match that people are like, why the all-in card sucks. No, this isn't it. This is actually the – I think this is the second biggest match they got on the card, truthfully. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, Like I said, I think you got Punk. You got some good matches on here. Like I said, I don't think this card sucks. I think it's not – you could have had a better card if you would have used everybody to their fullest points. But instead, I feel like we got like a lot of the collision dudes on all out. And I'm like, this feels wrong, too. Yeah. But that's just me talking. I don't know. So I got the Bucks winning, Derek. You going with FTR for your official vote? Or you going to book with your heart or your brain here? Booking with my heart. 
Oh, this guy. <sighs> Derek, don't come on here getting mad at this when we told you some of these things. This See, this is different than that Fiend rant that you did in Hell in a Cell because that nobody saw coming. We're telling you this. Like, this is the obvious thing, I think. You got to do it. They, they can't keep the belts. I'm sorry. Like, you, you can't do it. I feel like it's too difficult to. It, it, it's in the perfect situation for the Bucks to take them. You get what I'm saying? Like, uh, we'll see. But maybe they swerve us. We don't know. We don't no, know. It, it's not that, bro. I fear they get the titles and then they go on with this fucking fallacy of a run with the titles. That I don't want. That I don't want. It'll be a fallacy, bro. A huge fallacy. Yeah, too soon, Christian. Too soon. <laughs> too soon, that joke. Jake Stone said, Kyra, Derek, how you feel about the four-way women's? We just talked about it. We both got Sheeta winning right now. Yes. I think that could be a solid match. The women's four-ways in AEW have always either been really good or out of control. Yes. Um, remember the early ones? So, yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Um. We do not need more of those. And that whoop whoop made uh, the card go over him and uh, Okada in the first all in. Uh, sup, Derek Karen, who do you think Swerve is picking as his partner versus Sting and Darby? All in on your Darby Allen and your ideas. We talked about it. It's going to be Christian and RIP to the legendary funk. Yes. I'm scared of FTR loses. Uh, here we go. Y'all got to stop. Y'all going to get me in trouble. You're trying to get me kicked off YouTube. Main event, Adam Cole, MJF. It's going down. It's going to be live on Fight. Dazzin, BR, that Bleacher Report, Doodoo Ass app, uh, and more. So right. this should have been free, in my opinion. I don't True. care what anybody says. This should have been on Max or something else. I'm I'm more pissed about that than, than this card. Right. The So MJF and Adam Cole, this is the biggest match they can do right now. I don't care what people say. I can see the numbers, all right? Business-wise, this is the biggest match they can do right now. And people are into this. The segment, the numbers go up when these two are on screen together. Why? I can't tell you. I don't fully understand it, but I know money when I see it. It's right. just like the bloodline. I don't understand it, but I know money when I see it. 45 Very minutes on SmackDown. Get out there. Very much so. So this is the match. Derek, what happens in this one? Who's turning? Who does what? Oh. Uh. Dirk Benson, what's good, Dirk? What's happening, brother? I will say 17 minutes over. That main event was faster than the Lauren than a Lauren Hill performance. MJF will retain, possibly lead to a rematch the week after at all out. I, so I see Punk facing whoever wins this, saying, like, I'm the real champ. We're in Chicago. Let's do this. Uh, I say you're in punk country. It has to go. It has to stay with MJF because Punk needs to, to to get back on that. Does so? Who turns in this though? Does MJF stay a babyface? No, he's kind of over though. It seems wrong. And Adam Cole keeps giving you the doubts. The look at the belt. The he's looked like he might super kick somebody. I don't know, man. I don't trust either of them. This seems very weird. Then they hit you with the Austin line. I need to beat you. I need to beat you more than anything. Right. My way or the highway. I don't know, man. All in should have been on Max WBD playing games saying they weren't ready. Then two weeks after, like, we're ready. <laughs> Facts, Matt. Uh, I say Adam should take it off. MJF. Uh, MJF ran his course. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know. I can see MJ. Like I said, I think MJF might be going into the 2024 with this belt. The question is, who takes it off of him, though? It would be Adam Cole. So you're thinking Cole does it here or he does it later? Later. I don't know. And Roderick Strong in the kingdom, they got to play some type of role in this. They've been teasing them for far too long. But they're not a strong enough group. They're not, but they have to have a role in this. I, I, don't, think it's, I don't think it's time, bro. Like People may be over it now, but... I don't think it's time for Cole to take it because you need, I mean, let's think about it. You think Cole, you think, uh, 
Cole's going to want to drop the belt to CM Punk? Oh. You think CM Punk CM Punk's going to want to lose to Cole? Absolutely not. They may have respect for each other and everything, but it's not the it's not the right it's not the right uh equation for them. Because my other weird thing is Cole and the Kingdom can't be a faction together. No. Maybe it'll work on Ring of Honor, but I don't think it'll work on AEW. Is that no. fair to say? Like, yes. Cole can hold it down on, on Ring of Honor. He could be one of your go-to main guys because of his history with Ring of Honor. But I don't see him being the one of the, like, that can't be a trios act on Dynamite. They're going to nope. lose. You just can't book other people over them. That's just how I feel. But then again, Cole can win with Fish and O'Reilly. Oh no, Bobby Fish. Bobby Fish got some some apologizing to do, I think. Apologizing and shoe shining. Yo, come on. Dude. <laughs> come on now. Um, they could they could get a lot of stuff happening here. Uh, I want O'Reilly to come back. I hope he's getting healthy and strong. I think this has been Strong's best performance in a long while. So I'm gonna give it up to him. Uh, I'm sticking with MJF for my pick to win. MJF retains the title some way, somehow, and then he goes into Chicago to face Punk. And maybe he motivated everyone to go up against Cole. Like I said, I feel like Cole's been supposed to be the guy who's one step ahead. He's smarter than him, but something's about to happen now where he didn't see it coming. Yes, that's what it has to be. And don't forget, the week after that, where you're going to have All Out Sunday, September 3rd. So after All In, you'll get Clash of the Podcast. Then you'll get me and Derek for Dynamite again. And then we'll probably be back next week with All Out Preview and Predictions on the show. So we'll be here. Maybe we'll have a review of Stadium Stampede. We'll tell Derek why he cannot pick uh, Malachi Black against me. Just can't be going for that. Uh, Fish has been embarrassed enough with that impact (laughs) run. Yo, where's the lie? (laughs) Never, yo, he'll never live that down and nobody reacted. He thought he said something cool there. Um, It's going to be big things, man. I'm looking forward to All In. Don't be too down on the card. Let's see what they do, all right? Maybe maybe it's, I hope it's better than what they think. I know that they were met with some issues with a lot of these things, but look, we're here. Let's see what they got at this point. Uh, we're going to get up on out of here, man. We went an hour and a half for you guys tonight. I know it's a little longer than usual, but we have fun doing this one. Um, there, you're going to check out that stadium stampede mode? Yeah. All right, good. Let me know when you get online. Definitely going to check it out. Um, thank you guys so much for joining us. Much love to the legend Terry Funk. We are going to leave on out of here with him. Thank you guys so much for being EPW representing. This is always by the fans, for the fans. We always listen to you guys. Your comments are important. Your thoughts are important. And that's why we read them here on this podcast. Show us love. We are out. We will be back for all in this weekend on Sunday. Make sure you are here this afternoon on that Sunday for the review. We want to hear your thoughts. We are out. One. One.